What's up YouTube, DJ Hypnotize aka The Hizza back with another video. For all those of you that have been asking and requesting, or anybody that's looking to get into scratching and turntablism, this guide is for you. This is the Scratch Vlog episode 19. On today's episode I'm going to be showing you a tutorial. It's going to be DJ Hypnotize Ultimate Guide to Scratching. For anybody out there that's just looking into getting into scratching, scratching has been blowing up these last few years especially. Um, I have my own style that I love to share with you guys, but more importantly give you a solid foundation that you can build on. For all those of you that have been asking and requesting, or anybody that's looking to get into scratching and turntablism, this guide is for you. We're going to go through three levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced to help you guys become better shredders or just start scratching. This will be a very solid foundation for you to you know, build on in the future and accelerate your growth. All right, you guys, we're gonna start off level one. Level one scratches, these are gonna be your most important foundational scratches. So we start with the baby. The baby is the first scratch you wanna learn. And to do a baby, you simply turn on the crossfader and move your record hand back and forth with the sample at the beginning of the sample. And that's the baby scratch. You try now. That's the baby scratch. All right, guys, on to the second scratch. These are the forward scratches or stabs. This is also a very important scratch. This is also actually one of the most important scratches that you can learn that will help clean up your style and help you develop it. To do a stab, start at the beginning of the sample and turn on the sample, as, turn on the fader as you let go of the sample. Turn off the crossfader, pull back the sample so you don't hear the back scrape, and repeat. You try it. Stabs, by the way, were invented by Mixmaster Ice. In the early 80s. And you know, scratching actually came out in the mid 70s is when we first um, heard Grand Wizard Theodore do it. Just a little knowledge for y'all. Study your history, you know, it's very important. All right, you guys, that's the, the forward stab. 
which brings us to our next scratch the tear scratch also very important foundational scratch the tear scratch is going to help you get you know a lot of record control is going to help you develop that using pauses to do tears you simply turn on the crossfader and then you do there's a, you know a lot of different ways to do tears right but uh, some of the more popular and good ways to get started are for example one forward and two back Alright guys, another way to do uh, tears is two forward and one back. So the opposite of what we were just doing. We also have clover chairs, which are two forward and two back, but that's another level. We'll talk about that later, but you know, just briefly touching on. So those are, you know, important scratches. Three important scratches to really get you started, okay? There's one more that I wanna go over, and that's gonna cover level one of this course. And that is the Transformer Scratch. The Transformer Scratch was made famous and came out by Cash Money, DJ Cash Money in 1986. And it got its name because at the time the Transformers were really popular and hence the name. And to do that you simply move the record slow and the fader fast. Okay? In any direction you want. You know, this is an expression. Music is my escape. Scratching is my escape. Scratching is my release. It's, it's our expression. So you just gotta feel it. You know, to get funky, it's gotta come from your soul. You know. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we're gonna keep it really simple, really basic, and we'll let loose on some combos later. Okay. I was throwing some uh, le level 2 cuts in there that we're about to start covering in a second, right after this. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, guys. So with those four scratches right there, I think if you really master those, you will have a good solid foundation and starting point on your journey to becoming a master turntablist and DJ. Now, let's move on to level two. But before we do that, I'm gonna do a combo video using just level one scratches that we just went over. Okay? Now let's check it out. Alright guys, so practice those, send us a video, we'll repost it, give you a critique, and um, good luck with your level 1 scratches. Level 2 scratches are going to be a little bit more complicated and a little more complex, but just as important. These scratches were picked out to help you get a solid foundation and advance quickly on your journey to becoming a master turntablist. We will begin um le round level two with a scratch called turnarounds the reason these are important because these will help you get you know uh different rhythms you know um it will help you with syncopation and basically there's a couple different ways to do them but this will also if you get stagnant this is a good way to break out of that so I'm just going to start doing them, just check it out, try to follow along, and uh, let's just do that for a while. So to do these, you just want to click the fader on twice like you're doing two transformers and one reverse drag, okay? And then you can always obviously mirror that or reverse it, you know? But let's just start here. Alright guys, so we're going to start level 2 with a very important scratch. It was the Flair scratch, invented by, you know, DJ Flair. Um, and basically, this revolutionized uh, scratching. With this scratch, it really opened up the door to a whole lot of other scratches, like the Orbit, and it all started from there, from the Flair. So to do a Flair, basically, uh, you want to just... Turn on the sample and cut it halfway through. Turn off the sound and turn it back on. So you're splitting the sound in two. But you gotta start slow before you can do it fast. You try it. So 
So basically, Flair came out with the flares. This came out with the orbits. You know, he took that back. And then um, before that, it was the 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 OG flares, what we like to call it. Uh, and basically, that's um, that's kind of like one of the tears we covered earlier in, in level one. But you're shutting off the fader on top of it, so you're you're dicing it. And um, and let's go into that. So let's go back to that back to flares. So you turn off the sound midway and turn it back on. Super important scratch. So uh, uh, orbit would be a two-click flare orbit. So start with the sample with the fader on. As you release the sample, click it twice. So you try. Try to follow along. And before that, we had the original flare, which is what I was talking about just a minute ago. I was throwing in some chirps in there, which we're going to cover. So to get it really clean, you need to do it really slow. When you get comfortable with that, just add an extra click for orbits. There you have it. Orbits and flares. Alright guys, so the next scratch we're going to cover, yeah, we'll just do all this shit post, post later, like that. Alright guys, so the next, the next scratch we're going to cover are chirps. I was throwing a couple in here and there. To do the chirp, what you want to do is you want to turn off the sound on the crossfader a split second after the sound comes in. So as soon as you hear the sound come in, the sample come in, you turn the, the fader off. And then you just pull it back in reverse. And just get the, the tip, the very tip of the scratch. Okay? These were famous, made famous by DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince in 1986. Sounds like a bird tripping. Get it nice and crisp. You try it.
So I was doing a little swing right there. You know, it's like a one-two pattern. Chirps are great for practicing your swing, which will help you sound like not so on beat, but swing gives it like funk and flavor, you know what I mean? Just another little tip, you know, we'll be talking more about that in the scratch theory section. Alright guys, the next scratch that we're going to learn are called tasers. These are also a very important uh, scratch. It's come from the laser type family where like you swing it. So basically, um, you want to pull it back. You try it. And you're just basically doing a continuous two click on the fader. I like that flinging motion to produce three sounds. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And you know, you can add as many clicks as you want, you know what I mean? This is just a good foundation. Alright guys, the next scratch we're going to cover are boomerangs. And uh, to do boomerangs, um, it's basically like a forward back forward motion and then you mirror that back forward back. Forward back forward, back forward back, forward back forward, back forward back. So just kind of wrap your head around that concept. One, two, three, it's three, four, three back. One, two, three, one, two, three. You try it. I need to recalibrate my fader actually. I want to get a new one because this one is just kind of, the cut is really far on this, which is good for training. You know, I have a, a bunch of other mixtures that I use, but um, yeah, I just need it old, like laser sharp. All right, guys.
we got one more I'm gonna touch on this briefly for level two that's gonna complete level two it's gonna be um, I was I touched on it a little bit is dicing uh, and dicing all it is is your you're clicking your tears basically you're, you're tearing your flares you're, you're flaring your tears there you go Alright, so you go uh, one forward and two back, but you want to click it every time. Alright, so work on that. You try it. And with those turnarounds, you know, you get off beat, on beat, syncopated, those um those odd number scratches are really good, so they're gonna really help you with that. Alright guys, and the next scratch we're going to learn are delayed flares. These are very important. There's a bunch of types of flares and we'll go more into more into detail about those on another tutorial. For the scope of this one, I want to teach you guys delayed flares because I feel like these are very important scratches that will help you sound dope. So to do delayed flares, so you dice a baby, remember dicing? So and then you do two, two clicks forward. And you can just do a reverse layer. You try it. Alright guys, so here's a little twist. If you do two quick babies, I like to call those busters, right? Two quick babies in succession. You throw them in before this, it gives it a whole nother sound. Sounds really intricate and, and nice.
you can just mix in energizers and jackhammers together. Whenever you add the babies in front of those, those are called jackhammers. So you can mix those two together, it just sounds crazy. Let's try it again. Try to follow along. Alright guys, and there's one more scratch that I want to give you guys to help you on your way, okay? These are called flirps. This is going to be the last scratch in this tutorial. And these are basically, it's a combo of two scratches that you already learned, two level two scratches, chirps and flares. So you mix those together, you get flirps. Chirps and flip. Mix them together. try it. And with those turnarounds, you know, you get offbeat, onbeat, syncopated. Those um, those odd number scratches are really good, so they're gonna really help you with that. So there you have it, guys. That was my ultimate guide to scratching. I hope you guys will take the time to practice each one of these cuts so you master them down before moving on to the next. I feel like if you get these 13 scratches that I showed you down perfectly, you'll have a very rock solid foundation. And from there you can go any which way you want. Remember, this is a lifelong journey. And, you know, there, there is no perfect, perfection, only progress to this art. Happy scratching. Subscribe to the Scratch Vlog. Check out ScratchSociety.com. Leave a comment below. And thanks for watching. Alright guys, so when we put it all together, let's put all those 13 scratches that we learned in one combo. Uh, so once you get those 13 down, or the, once you get those 14 scratches down, I'd love to see you guys post a video scratching and show me what you got. Good luck to you, and more, more, most importantly, good luck to you guys, and most importantly, have fun.
time for the scratch theory. One thing I want to talk to you guys about is very important to practice those foundational cuts to really help you uh, build up that eye hand coordination, build up some swing, you know, get funky with your cuts, you know, get in the groove, you know, you want to stay on beat with the samples and just stay in the pocket, you know, practice some of those techniques that I showed you to really tighten it up and make it sound dope and get that hand eye coordination that you need to master uh, being a turntablist. So, I mean, other than that, if you guys have any questions, just hit me up. I'm here to help you. Please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see y'all later.